Good morning. President Biden has been missing in action on the debt ceiling, refusing to negotiate and putting our economy and the livelihoods of hardworking American families at risk. Even House Democrats are demanding that President Biden enter debt ceiling negotiations with Speaker McCarthy. House Republicans will pass a sensible debt ceiling solution that limits Washington's irresponsible spending, saves taxpayer dollars, and grows the American economy. President Biden must work with us, who represent the American people, to address our nation's spending and debt crisis. Nobody can look at the balance sheet of our federal government or the nonpartisan CBO's budget outlook and not shudder shudder at the rapid deterioration of our nation's financial health. Under the effects of the $10 trillion in spending over the last two years, $6 trillion added to the national debt, record inflation, soaring interest rates, and a nosedive into recession. That is the reality of the rest of America. And so they tighten in their belts and they're changing their spending habits and by God, the people in this town who represent this great nation, who are responsible for funding this government, need to do the same. And then you got the list of, of reversing some of the reckless spending items uh, like the student loan cancellation, the our army of IRS agents and the like. But I didn't get any pushback last night substantively on what we have been presenting. Secondly, I didn't hear a single Democrat offer up in six hours an alternative item of savings. That for ten for the summer, and does that give uh, a confidence to the market? And the important thing of bring in some of these important common sense measures like work requirements is not only does it save taxpayers money who are working hard it also helps shore up programs like social security we'll be able to put tens of billions of dollars back into social security a program that joe biden has undermined with his reckless policies we strengthen those programs by putting basic work requirements back in place and so we would really like it It'd be a lot easier if President Biden was sitting at the table with the speaker saying, okay, let's come up with ideas of how to solve this problem, but because they walked away from the table, we said, we're not going to just sit back and run the clock out like President Biden. We're going to do it on our own. And so this bill represents a lot of really good ideas. If they've got better ideas, as Chairman Arrington said, not one idea was presented by Democrats yesterday. Not one concern for the young people of America who will pay this tab was expressed by Democrats. But we care about that. Yeah, there, there were some technical changes to address dates and alignment. If you look at the tax credits, for example,